Hi, caregivers. Some of us, when we become dementia caregivers, realize we're going to have to do some changes around the house to make it safer for our loved ones and for ourselves when we're taking care of them. One of them that I had to do was to build a ramp, figure out how to do that. So I want to share the screen with you and let you see what I did, and then I'll tell you more about it. So, as you can see, I had an obstacle in our main entryway. This was along the side of our house. We had a circular drive going all the way around the back. This is the place where we came and went all the time. And as you can see in the top picture, there were two uneven steps. There was a heavy storm door that threw us off balance when we had to balance and have anything in our hands or maneuver around with that heavy storm door in the way. And so it just wasn't a good idea at all to keep uh, this entryway in the condition that it was in, especially since we got the diagnosis. So I felt like it would be a good investment done early to go ahead and build a ramp. I found a contractor and I talked to the contractor about what we might do. He suggested the wooden style ramp and putting a little wooden porch deck type thing on there. And I wasn't quite sold on that idea, so we talked some more. And then he suggested a cement ramp that could be stamped to look light slate and have a porch also poured, made of cement, in a semicircular pattern. So I took this on as a creative challenge. It made me feel a little more in control. And I made a sketch and tweaked a little bit about more and more of what I wanted. I decided to use my money at that time to invest in our home to make our home more attractive, ultimately more marketable if we decided to move closer to the kids, and it was a really good choice for us. We ended up beautifying our home and making it kind of a special place for us where we enjoyed packing to go get the, go see the grandkids bringing home the groceries. It was just very easy, and we did it at a cost of about one-fourth of one month's stay in a skilled care room in our community at that time. It was safe, it was easy to use, and as you can see by the picture below, the after picture, it was attractive. We were very, very pleased. It felt like we'd kind of taken a lemon of what we'd been handed with that back door and turned it into some lemonade it kind of become, became a daily treasure in our darkness that we got to enjoy. And everybody who came to our house got to enjoy it too. So I hope you can come up with some ideas. Uh, you may be able to come up with better ideas than this, but this is what we did. And maybe it'll give you some ideas, a, a less expensive way, maybe even to do the same thing that can add some beauty to your home while it's solving a practical problem for you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for what you do as a caregiver. Really, really making a difference every day in your family, with your loved one, in your community. Take care.